Hello, akam jirtu barato tanaga kessani, dosen jirtu nundu mantina genyo waka yosin ifatau, barno ta kessan, geografi kuta kuta tokofa, boko na jaa harra kabate isin ifiat era, isin is barno toni kuta kuta tokofa, sta tangu barno toni kuta kuta lamma fa, video kana ilaludan, ido wanga fi wong kung ba ansir ritra debi tani dubi sudan korma ta kessan, model af aka kopof tanga manu man, isin yada chis. Hello, nda mna chuta mario salam na chuba la chuba ti geta salam ibzar la chu, zari bazi video meraf sedist, كفل أسرع أنت جيوغرافي تمهرتن يشيلا شو ما تجعلون بس دي فيديو يوت تطيع كيوتش وتباجو كبابي وتشن وده مسافة شو بمهيت عند تانا بونا لفتنا شو عند تزجاج شو كوديو أساس باجو الله شو ذا كوريكت أنسر فروم ذا جيفن ألترنيتيفز كويسين نمبر وان وات إز ذا مين كوز أوف هابيتات ديستراكشن إيه أوفر بوبليشن بي ناتشرال بروسيسز سي Landscape modification by humans. D. Agricultural intensification. Question number two. Which is an example of agricultural intensification negative impact? A. Increase in soil fertility. B. Reduction in carbon stock. C. Increase in biodiversity. D. None of the above. Question number three. Which of the following is a persistent environmental issue caused by climate change? A. Overgrazing. B. Cladding and invasive species proliferation. C. Deforestation. D. All of the above. Question number four. What term refers to the time lag between habitat degradation and species extinction? A. Biodiversity gap. B. Extinction debit. C. Habitat loss. D. Environmental deficits. Okay. The main cause of habitat destruction is landscape modification by humans. C is the correct answer. Whereas, the example of agricultural intensification negative impact is reduction in carbon stock. B is the correct answer. Flooding and invasive species proliferation is a persistent environmental issue which are caused by climatic change. So, B is the correct answer. Extinction debits is the time lag between habitat degradation and species extinction. Again, B is the correct answer. Here, human activities like deforestation, urbanization, and infrastructural development are the primary drivers of habitat destruction. Agricultural intensification often involves deforestation and overuse of land which leads to reducing the carbon stored in soils and the vegetations. Climate change leads to rising sea levels and extreme weather causing flooding and altering ecosystems which facilitates an invasive species spread. Extinction debit occurs when Species are doomed to extinction due to past habitat destruction but have not yet disappeared. Question number five. What is the most effective way to prevent invasive species from spreading? A. Eradication after establishment. B. Prevention before introduction. C. Biological control. D. Habitat restoration. Number six, what is the relationship between poverty and environmental degradation? A. Poverty causes overconsumption of resources. B. Poverty focuses overuse of natural resources. C. Poverty reduces environmental stress. D. Poverty has no connection to the environment. Question number seven, which sector is most affected by the poverty environment nexus? A. Manufacturing. B. Mining. C. Agriculture. D. Technology. Prevention before introduction is the most effective way to prevent invasive species from spreading. So, the correct answer is B. Poverty forces over use of natural resources is the relationship between poverty and the environmental degradation again b is the correct answer 
question number 7 agricultural sector is the most affected by the poverty environmental nexus so the correct answer is c preventing the entry of invasive species is more effective and cost efficient than trying to eradicate them once they establish poor communities offer rely on natural resources for survival this leading to over exploitation poor rural communities heavily depend on agriculture which is vulnerable to environmental degradation question number eight how does poverty contribute to deforestation a by promoting sustainable practices b by encouraging large-scale farming c by driving small-scale slash and burn farming d none of the above question number nine what is the term for environmental challenges worsening poverty a poverty trap b environmental feedback loop c ecological imbalance d sustainability crisis question number 10 which one of the following is the solution to breaking the poverty environmental cycle a limiting access to natural resources b investing in education and sustainable development c increasing industrial activities d ignoring rural areas okay the answer for question number eight is that by driving small scale slash and burn farming poverty contribute to deforestation so c is the correct answer question number nine poverty trap is the term for environmental challenges worsening poverty so a is the correct answer question number 10 investing in education and the sustainable development is the solution to breaking the poverty environmental cycle so the correct answer is b look poor farmers clear forests for temporary agricultural use this leads to deforestation poverty trap occurs when environmental degradation reduces resource availability which deepening poverty educating communities and promoting sustainable practices help to balance resource use and reduce poverty question number 11 what is the primary goal of sustainable development a economic growth at any cost b environmental protection only c balancing economic social and environmental needs d population control question number 12 which is a major cause of environmental degradation a overconsumption b renewable energy use c recycling d conservation question number 13 what is an example of environmental degradation a afforestation b desertification c water conservation d renewable energy development question number 14 which principle is a key to sustainable development a exploiting resource fully b meeting short-term goals c intergenerational equity d ignoring environmental limits question number 15 what is an example of a sustainable practice a clear cutting forests b organic farming c damping waste into rivers d overfishing the correct answer for question number 11 sustainable development seeks to meet current needs without compromising future generation whereas excessive resource use depletes 
natural systems which are causing environmental degradation. Desertification results from land overuse leading to loss of soil fertility and the biodiversity. Intergenerational equity ensures resources are preserved for future generations. Organic farming avoids harmful chemicals, preserving the soil and ecosystem. So, the correct answer for question number 11 is balancing economic, social, and environmental needs is the primary goal of sustainable development. C is the correct answer. Question number 12. Overconsumption is a major cause of environmental degradation. A is the correct answer. Question number 13. Desertification is an example of environmental degradation. B is the correct answer. Question number 14. Intergenerational equity is the principle to sustainable development. C is the correct answer. Question number 15. Organic farming is an example of sustainable practices. B is the correct answer. Question number 16. What is the main challenges posed by rapid population growth in developing countries? A. Increased access to education. B. Pressure on economic and social services. C. Decreased dependency ratio. D. Improved standard of living. Question number 17. How does family size impact education access in developing countries? A. Larger families invest more in education. B. Smaller families have less educational opportunities. C. Large families reduce per child education spending. D. Family size does not affect education. Question number 18. What is the relationship between population growth and economic growth in Maltesian theory? A. Directly proportional. B. Inversely proportional. C. Unrelated. D. Population growth always precedes economic growth. Question number 19. What is the primary cause of land degradation? A. Overgrazing. B. Industrialization. C. Population pressure and unsustainable practices. D. Natural disasters. Question number 20. Which of the following best describe desertification? A. The process of deforestation. B. The spread of desert like conditions to non arid areas. C. Climate change in humid areas. D. Soil erosion caused by over irrigation. Look, rapid population growth leads to stress on resources like healthy care, education, and housing in developing countries. The larger family size often results in limited resources for individual children's education. Maltesian theory suggests that population growth outpaces food production leading to resource shortages. Unsustainable farming, deforestation, and overuse of resources are major human driving causes. Desertification occurs when land in arid and semi-arid areas degrades due to factors like deforestation and inappropriate land use. So. Question number 16 is B. Pressure on economic and social services is the main challenges posed by the rapid population growth in developing countries. B is the correct answer. Question number 17. Larger families reduce per child education spending. So C is the correct answer. Question number 18, the relationship between population growth and 
economic growth in multi-shian theory is inversely proportional so b is the correct answer question number 19 population pressure and unsustainable practices are the primary cause of land degradation c is the correct answer question number 20 the spread of desert like conditions to non arid areas are best describing desertification b is the correct answer channel ek san geolesan 17 tube wanda wotanif galatoma geolesan 17 tube channel achun sile gobenyachu amasagnal geolesan 17 tube channel milkomine egere dalotaf dim